Hello everyone, hope you guys are having a good Sunday night, it's October 25th, and uh, yeah, so today I'm back with a tropical update and a winter weather update, um, the tropics are once again active, so we're going to be talking about that today, oh but yes, please consider subscribing and please leave a like, I would really appreciate it, uh, but let's get started with the video, so, right now we only have two ongoing storms in the Atlantic right now, we have Epsilon up here, um, which we've been tracking for a while now. It's 70 mile per hour winds and 964 millibars is the low pressure. Um, and yeah, it's forecasted to continue moving northeast and kind of die off as it goes closer towards the Arctic. Towards the Arctic, yeah. So that's one of the ones we're watching. Now, this one is the bigger deal. This is Zeta, uh, which is now in the Caribbean. Um, it is forecasted to become a hurricane. We already have hurricane warnings up for areas in Mexico. This is going to get close to Mexico tomorrow afternoon and then hit Mexico in the middle of the night, Tuesday morning. Uh, and then it's going to go into the Gulf of Mexico as a hurricane. And then it's going to go into... As it moves into the northern Gulf, though, it might weaken a slight bit, though, due to colder waters. Um, it's forecasted to make landfall in Louisiana at 2 p.m. on Wednesday and move into the southeast. Oh, uh, so yeah, that is Zeta. This is going to be probably one of the last, probably the, one of the last landfalling systems of the year. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be talking about that again in a second. Actually, let's talk about it now. So, this is, right now, we're, we're going to talk about our winter storm in a second. Um, yeah, so this is Zeta. The GFS is really uptrending on this recently. Um, let's actually get a different sector here. Let's get the, the Gulf of Mexico. Here we go. Um... So by Tuesday morning, it's hitting uh, Cancun, moves north into the Gulf, it reaches its, its, its pink, its, gosh, sorry, its peak strength in the center of the Gulf of Mexico right there at 983 millibars, and moves north. Uh, so yeah, and as we see, then moves north, makes landfall kind of in southeast, really extreme southeastern Louisiana, maybe even southern Mississippi, and moves north and potentially, and kind of collides if our with a low pressure system, and it could bring some winter weather to Texas and Oklahoma. Um, so yeah, it kind of collides and could bring a tornado threat to areas like the south, the southeast, and could bring a tornado threat to those areas. Uh, so yeah, that is Zeta. Um, rainfall, according to the GFS, is still pretty far out, but uh, GFS is the heaviest rainfall for areas like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia, and North, North, North Georgia especially. Um, and it also has a lot of heavy rain in Texas and Oklahoma. Um, so yeah, that's just, that's just one model though. The, the Canadian though, no, that's the GFS pair. Don't look at that. Um, this is the Canadian. It has a little bit further to the west and a little bit further to the north. Uh, it doesn't have as high rainfall totals. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be watching Zeta in the upcoming days. Pretty much every day this week, that's gonna be important an important uh, system. So I'm going to be talking about that again tomorrow, in tomorrow's video. Uh, so yeah, right now our winter storm is hitting Colorado pretty hard. As you guys can see, this is this is what the GFS is saying what is going on right now. A lot of heavy snow across Colorado, and light snow bands going all the way to northern Michigan. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty, pretty serious uh, winter storm. We have a lot of cold, dry air, and our high pressure. What is supplying the cold air is this high pressure. It is bringing very cold air down and kind of making a large cold front and that is record-breaking cold air along that and record-breaking snowfall along that behind that cold front um so yeah by tomorrow morning we're going to start to be looking at maybe some freezing rain and snow for areas like texas and oklahoma panhandles and snow for areas like northern missouri maybe illinois too uh kansas and northern new mexico um this is monday morning um so yeah, snow making it about as far south, some freezing rain maybe making it as far south as uh, Lubbock, Texas. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see. And then what's going to happen is we're going to have another low pressure system pop out of this. One's going to move north, another one's going to form in this area, and that's just going to bring another round of winter weather. And we see that second round will really get its act together. We'll start to, we'll start to notice it a little bit probably by Tuesday night. And that's going to bring some really bad freezing rain for areas like Amarillo and maybe and some decent snow for Amarillo also. And some freezing rain making it, or actually, that, yeah, that's freezing rain making it pretty far south in Texas now. Um, and then that moves further east Tuesday morning. This could be a pretty serious ice storm if the GFS actually pans out like this. Oklahoma City are right on the edge of that. 
on Tuesday at around 7 a.m. We were right on the edge. Um, and then that kind of fizzles out, and then Wednesday night, we have another round. Um, we have an upper-level low now, a pretty strong one that forms down in Texas and New Mexico. That's gonna bring, That could bring some snow to areas like eastern New Mexico, southwestern Texas. And, yeah, so that's going to be our second round. And that moves northeast, and that is a low-pressure system that will kind of collide with Zeta. So right here, this is this is Tuesday or Thursday morning. We have this low pressure system in northern Oklahoma. This was our this was one bringing the winter weather, and we have this one, which is Zeta. So we're gonna have to see how those two interact with each other. Um, so now let's take a look at the Canadian here. Actually, let's take a look at what the GF has us thinking for snowfall totals. Let's go down to total snowfall here, and we're going to zoom in on the south. We're going to zoom in on this area. Or here goes the word. Um, so the GFS has some decent snowfalls. So yeah, I think this is more realistic than it was in yesterday's video. I'm pretty sure yesterday, it might have been the day before yesterday, that uh, the GFS had 24 inches for Amarillo. Now the GFS only has two. Uh, or one, one to three. And it has barely any snow for Lubbock. Lubbock, you're probably still going to get some winter weather. It's just not going to fall as snow. Um, I think you could get a little bit of snow, though. The highest snow level has 51 inches in northern New Mexico. That is, in the higher elevations, I think that's overdoing it a little bit, but we're, there's going to be a lot of heavy snow in this area. Um, as we're going to have likely three rounds of it happening. And then I explain that. Um, so, yeah, let's actually see if the Canadian is also thinking about that. The three rounds. So let's go to precept type and rate. Let's see what the Canadian is thinking for the for the snow here. So this is what the Canadian is, is, is thinking right now. It's pretty much the same as the GFS. Some snow going all the way into the Midwest. And heavy snow in Colorado. And then by tomorrow morning, the Canadian has a kind of some freezing rain sleet starting to come into Texas and Oklahoma and Kansas. And then it all has a lot of freezing rain sleet in Oklahoma by and then two or by Monday afternoon and Tuesday. Kind of it also yeah, it does show the second round too. This the second it has a second round bringing some pretty strong pretty bad freezing rain in Oklahoma City. Let's actually take a sounding for that. Yes, this is not good. So what we have here is we have warmer temps aloft, so it's not falling as snow. And thirty degrees of the surface. So that is a bad case for freezing rain. And GFS is pretty heavy freezing rain for Oklahoma City Tuesday afternoon. Or not the GFS, this is the Canadian, I'm sorry. Um, and it does, yeah, so it does have three rounds also. So it's likely we're going to have three rounds of this. One will happen Monday, one will happen Tuesday, and one will happen Wednesday. Um, and Wednesday is going to, look at that, that is serious freezing rain. This one's even worse, 28, that's going to freeze pretty quickly. That's not good. Um, so yeah, this could be a pretty bad ice storm for these areas, too. Uh, let's take a look at the... This is the Canadian one. Let's take a look at the uh, the, uh, the total snowfall for the storm. So the Canadian has areas like Oklahoma City getting nothing. Has areas like Amarillo getting 1 to 3. And has more realistic amounts in the mountains. Um, but yeah, so I think... I think this area... We're gonna get snow, of course, but I think this area, or all, I think pretty much that one, this area right here, you're mainly gonna get probably like this area. I think this area you're probably gonna get some freezing rain or some type of winter precept to mix in. I don't think you're gonna get snow, but I think this area you're gonna get snow for sure, and even some maybe some freezing rain stuff and sleet like that. I think. Maybe this area could get a little bit of snow if you look further south, or you look further to the west. Um, and if you look further, like, the east, like, towards Dallas, and you I do not think Dallas is going to get snow. Um, so yeah, that is the Canadian. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to talk about one more thing real quick. We're going to look at the GFS model, and we're going to zoom out here. Let's go to the 18Z. Let's go to National, because this, this could be our next winter storm. This is actually probably going to be our next winter storm. So we're going to look at it. 
and this could be a, this is going to be our first winter storm in the northeast of the year. Um, so yeah, so this, this is one GFS. There are two systems, they move into the northeast, and they bring snow to areas like central and northern New York, southern and central Vermont, and pretty much a, a kind of north of a line, like northern Massachusetts and central New York. Um, but yeah, I'm about this video. We're going to be talking about that more tomorrow, but I'm running out of time. So yeah, we're going to be... So this, this is probably going to be our next winter storm. But yes, bye.